Today on Blurning, we're going to show you how to do an audio effect, and it will sound something like this. My name is Hey guys, I'm Brent. And I'm Gremlin. Ooh, and you are watching... Welcome to another episode of Learning, the show that, according to a significant portion of our subscribers, doesn't belong in this channel. But other than that, it is also a video editing show with some goofs. And some spoofs. And some spoofs. We show you how to do some cool video editing stuff in Premiere, Adobe, After Effects, stuff like that. And we make a bunch of jokes and act like dum-dums along the way, so. Yes, we do. If that sounds like something you want to watch, then stay tuned, because we're going to get real dumb up in this piece. So yeah, first of all, um, we're doing the things a little different today. We are going to show you how to do an audio effect in video editing. Now, Bobby, I don't know if you know this, but video and audio tend to go hand in hand when it comes to video editing. They I call didn't it. Know that. They actually call it AV for audio visual. Ooh. So audio visual. So AV. an important tool for every video editor in their uh, repertoire is to know a couple of audio tricks too. And so that's what we're going to show you how to do today. I'm learning. So we're going to learn how to do a deep voice effect. Whoa. It's time to get right into the tutorial. All right, so we have a clip here, a little exclusive clip. You get a sneak peek at um, a little piece of uh, Red Heaven here, a treat you'll get in a few minutes. So right now, here's the mysterious hooded man. He's saying something right now. My name is King Burley. So that's already sounding pretty menacing. Right yeah, there. it's pretty. It's already pretty deep and creepy, but we can make it even better. Ooh. So we're gonna go into our audio effects over here on the left. We're gonna find a little guy called Pitch Shifter. We're gonna grab that. We're gonna drag it onto our audio clip here. Now we need to go to our effects tab next, and we're gonna click Edit next to the Pitch Shift over here. And now we'll open our little pitch shift editor window here. It's a little bit easier than using the parameters tab, I find. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm actually gonna turn this de way down. I'm gonna turn it all the way down to minus 100. Now I got the semitones down minus two. Let's take a listen and see how that sounds. My name is Ken Ooh, that's really scary. That's really menacing now. The cool thing with some of the audio stuff is you can really play around and experiment with things and there's really no right or wrong answer to how to do anything. You can just kind of play around with all these different parameters and just things sound cool. There's also some nice presets in here if you want to start with one of those, but I kind of just wanted to build it from scratch from for this particular piece. And now, just to really put us over the edge a little bit, I'm gonna add a reverb to this. <laughs> Next thing, I'm gonna go for Great Hall. I want to sound like really roomy. Now, normally with a reverb, you want to try to pick one that's going to emulate that room you're in. So this is kind of a smaller room, so I don't know if I normally would use this, but I really am going for the creep factor right now. So I'm going to exaggerate things just a little bit. We have these two parameters down here called dry and wet. Dry is like the original signal with no reverb. Wet is the new signal with the reverb on it. So you can adjust the mix of that. I'm going to turn up the wet mix a little more, maybe turn down the dry mix a little more so we really hear more of the reverby part. And so, um, let's play that again. Ooh. That's pretty cool. I think that's creepy. I that's, think that's ready for Red Heaven. That's creepy AF. All right, guys, so that was it. This was kind of a short one, but I think it's a really effective piece of your repertoire as a video editor, especially if you're doing stuff on your own and you're not part of like a big movie crew who has like a whole sound department and everything. If you're like us, Bobby and me, and we're do everything ourselves, every video we edit, we do all the video stuff, all the audio stuff. It all comes down to us. Yes. So you really need to know how to do this stuff. So hopefully that helps you guys out and kind of steps up the level of your video. So hopefully you found that useful. We're about to introduce episode two of Red Heaven. So without further ado. I mean, you guys have been waiting for it. You've been begging for it, especially Master Wayne, Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne in particular. I know you how much you love us and are waiting for this video. So take it away, Brent Flex. Oh, man. Good morning, Brent. Hey, all right. So oh. we need to figure out how we're getting out of here, Bobby. What are I we going to do? I know. We have to get back home somehow. Wait. What? Didn't the gremlin say if we ever needed anything to smell the flowers? He said something like that. 
Where are we gonna find flowers, though? Can you help us find some flowers? <laughs> Is this a flower? Uh, it looks like one. All right, let's smell let's it. just do. Yeah, let's sniff it. Gremlin, you came! That's what she said! <laughs> oh, that was a good one, sir! Oh, oh, oh. Ah, that was a good one, Bren. Ah, I thought so. <sighs> anyway, yeah, so, um, anyway, um, seriously though, uh, how are we getting back home? In order to get back home, we must travel to the Mountain of Lies. Into the heart of the mountain you will find the talisman, which will unlock the key. To the box of truth. What, what is the mountain of lies? You see, the mountain of lies was handcrafted by the devil himself. In the deep abyss of red heaven. You shall travel there, and you will find what you are looking for. Why does your face look different? Excellent question, my friends. You see, I was watching a contour tutorial video on Instagram. And I decided to try something new. Hehehe! <laughs> you know it's Instagram, right? Not Instagram. You fool! It is Instagram! It is the Gremlins version of Instagram. Hehehe! <laughs> Woohoo! Come with me! made it after the long journey to the heart of the Mountain of Lies. Alright, we got here, so where's the talisman? Yeah, Gremlin, we want to get back home. Yeah, we've come a long way. Can we just get this over with? Fear not, my children, we've arrived. The talisman is right over there. Go touch it and you will find out how to get home. <laughs> there it is! What's going on? This is taking us home, Gremlin? You fools! Whoa! 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 <laughs> Whoa. Where are we? I don't know, but I can't What's going move. On? I can't either. I'm paralyzed. What's happening? Uh, Where are, well, Who are you? Welcome to your prison. My name is... Kimberly. Kimberly? Your name's Kimberly? Stop laughing. I've never met a guy named Kimberly yeah, before. Me either. It's a weird place. Yes. What do you mean? Kimberly is a manly name. Shut up! Ha ha ha, you fools. You fell right into my trap. The gremlin was working for me the whole time. The gremlin let us here. That little traitor. Saboteur. I needed him to bring you to the talisman so that you could bring it to me. You have to let us go. The talisman is the secret to me escaping from Red Heaven and crossing over to your realm. Now I can rule the multiverse. <laughs> Seriously. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs>
<coughs> you are in my home now. You speak when spoken to. At the end of the episode today, we'll be showing you episode Dose of Red Heaven. And um, as I'm sure you've noticed in the previous episode, there's some really creepy deep voices. Well, as it turns out, neither Bobby or myself have really creepy or deep voices. No. At least not... <laughs> I mean, Bobby, Bobby can sound like Sly Stallone if he feels like it, but... Yeah, and I... Uh, that's that's about all I got. It's me, Sylvester Stallone um, and Vin Diesel. Hey, I'm now producing some weird uh, Ninja Warrior spoof knockoff show on Netflix. It's pretty good. I'm Sly Stallone. Hey. Have you seen that show? I have not seen that. He has some like weird thing like the Beastmaster. Isn't it like for... Is it a thing for girls? No. It's, it's like American Ninja Warrior, but not as good. <laughs> And it's ah. on Netflix, and then Sly Sloan just will show up and be like, Hey, hey, these guys are pretty great, huh? Doing this athletic stuff and crap. I'm Sly Stallone. I'm involved in this stuff. It's gonna get so cray up in this piece. I'm saying up in this piece a lot today. I'm not sure what that's about. 